In our Health Watch report, some of the top transplant programs in the U.S. are now addressing organ shortages by accepting hearts from donors who had hepatitis C. Local 3's Shelly Botat has more. Carrie Hayes has had a faulty aortic valve since he was born. I wasn't getting the oxygen that I was supposed to get. It would blood would flow back and forth instead of all one direction. He got an artificial heart a year and a half ago, which is almost as long as he was on the list for a donor heart. His doctor found Carrie a heart from a donor who had hepatitis C. It could be cured with antiretrovirals after surgery. Carrie got his heart and just found out his hep C is gone. I felt that I was probably going to be cured, but you know, it feels good to have somebody tell you, yes, you're officially cured. Transplant surgeon Jorge Reyes says 20 livers and hearts from donors with circulating hepatitis C have gone to patients so far. They're hep C negative. They have never been exposed to hepatitis C. But their risk of dying of their liver disease or their heart disease, etc., is, is very high. 12 patients have been cured of hep C. Seven are still getting treatment, and one died of transplant complications. No potential recipient has said no. If we have a donor who is hepatitis C positive and with healthy organs, all those organs should be used. Carrie's still taking a lot of anti rejection medication, but he's delighted to get back to his normal life with Rena and his family. The all signs are pointing to getting back to. Being like everybody else. The doctor says his team is looking at expanding the program to include kidneys from hep C infected donors, but he wants more study done first. In an initial study, 20 patients at Penn Medicine in Philadelphia were cured of hep C after kidney transplants from infected donors. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botat, Local 3 News.